talk about the lymphatic drainage of the breast, we have to first identify five structures. The clavicle, humerus, sternum, pectoralis minor muscle, the axillary vessels, and their locations. Then we will talk about the location of the lymph nodes. Look at the image. The lymphatic drainage of the breast is very important to know because they are involved in the carcinoma of breast. The first group of lymph nodes here in the picture we are going to talk about is the anterior pectoral or external mammary group of lymph nodes. This group of lymph nodes lie in relationship with the lateral thoracic vessels. Look at the lateral thoracic vessel in the image. Lateral thoracic vessel is a branch of the axillary artery. The next group of lymph nodes we are going to talk about is the central group of lymph nodes. They are clinically important because they are most easily palpable. The lateral group of lymph nodes lies close to the humerus at the lateral aspect of the axillary vein. The posterior group of lymph nodes is also called the subscapular group of lymph nodes. The apical group of lymph node is also called the subclavicular lymph node because of their position below the clavicle. The apical group of lymph node lies above the pectoralis minor muscle and medial to the axillary vessels. The internal mammary nodes are situated retrosternally and the medial half of the breast drains into this group of nodes. Now let's talk about what is Berg's level of axillary lymph node. The first group is lateral and below the pectoralis minor muscle. Three groups of lymph node are situated at this level. They are anterior, lateral and posterior group of lymph node. We can remember it easily by PAL or a LAP. The level 2 group of lymph node is the central group. It lies beneath the pectoralis spinal muscle. The third group of lymph node is above and medial to the pectoralis spinal muscle, and they are called the apical group of lymph nodes. Here you can see in the image. The superficial lymphatics drain the skin over the breast except the nipple and the areola of the breast. The lymphatics pass radially to the surrounding lymph nodes, axillary, internal mammary, supraclavicular, and the deep lymphatics drain the parenchyma of the breast and the nipple and the areola. 75% of the lymph from the breast drains into the axillary lymph nodes, 20% drains into the internal mammary lymph nodes, and 5% to the posterior intercostal lymph nodes. The intercostal lymph node lies in front of the head of the rib. The location of the posterior intercostal lymph nodes are they lie in front of the head of the ribs. To understand the lymphatic drainage system of the breast, we have to divide the breast into four quadrants, the upper, lower, medial, and lateral. Here you can see in the image, the lateral part mostly drains into the pectoral group of lymph nodes and finally into the apical group of lymph nodes. And the upper part of the breast drains directly into the apical group of lymph nodes, which is also called the subclavicular group of lymph nodes. The lower and inner quadrant mostly drains into the subperitoneal and subdiaphragmatic group of lymph node. The middle half of the breast mostly drains into the internal mammary group of lymph node. This group of lymph nodes are also called the parasternal lymph nodes. Another point uh, to remember is that the internal mammary group not only drains the internal half of the breast or the inner half of the breast, it also drains some portion of the lateral aspect of the breast. though its name is a little bit confusing. Aplexus of lymph vessels are present deep to the areola. This is also called the subareolar plexus of sapi, subareolar plexus, and most of the lymph of the breast drains into the anterior or pectoral group of lymph nodes. The lymphatics of the deep surface of the breast pass through the pectoralis major muscle and also pierce the clavipectoral fascia to reach the apical group of lymph nodes and also to the internal mammary lymph nodes. As we have already mentioned, the lymphatics of the lower and inner quadrant of the breast communicate with the subdiaphragmatic and subperitoneal lymphatic plexuses after crossing the coastal margin and then piercing the anterior abdominal wall through the upper part of the linea alba. So a quick recap, the axillary lymph nodes are arranged in five sets. 
Their total numbers are around 20 to 30. The anterior group lies in the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle and close to the lateral thoracic vessel. The posterior group lies along the lower margin and posterior wall along the subscapular vessels. The lateral group lies posterior medial to the axillary vein. The central group lies beneath the pectoralis minor muscle within the fat of axilla. Apical group lies behind and above the pectoralis minor muscle medial to the axillary vein. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching the video.